Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2014 San Diego Comic-Con here at the Cota Bokia booth with my good friend Dan Lujan. Dan, how's it going? Hey Dan, nice to see you again. It seems like just a couple of months that we talked back at New York Toy Fair. The time flies, doesn't it? I seriously feel like we close our eyes, we blink, and we're right back to doing yeah. this again. Yeah, it, but it's great. It's great. We've got a lot of new announcements here, so we can just jump in right in and, and talk about some of our new products that we're Let's showing. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we've got our Wonder Woman artifact statue, and this is going to be a great piece to put um, with the Batman. Uh, we've got the black costume already out. We've got the Superman for Tomorrow artifact statue, and now we've got Wonder Woman. So we've got the Trinity is complete, and it's gonna be a great centerpiece for your DC collection. Excellent, those are gorgeous statues too. Yeah, and then we've got some new Bashojo announcements. We've got um, Zartana coming up, and we've, we're showing this for the first time publicly, Batwoman, and she's gonna have an interchangeable portrait so you can have her masked or unmasked. Excellent. Beautiful stuff right there. Yeah. Batwoman looks fantastic. And I love the interchangeability, too. That is such a cool thing with these. Yeah, I think that's that's really neat that, you know, that we can offer the interchangeable portraits. We've done it before with other statues like Spider-Woman, Harley Quinn. So I like, I like to see that trend continue. We also have Starfire, and we've had a great response with her. She'll be shipping out soon uh, this fall, so you look for her at retailers. Okay, fantastic. Our DC Artifacts Plus line is growing by leaps and bounds. Um, we're showing for the first time Nightwing. This is going to be available uh, at New York Comic Con, first at New York Comic Con. We'll probably also offer a pre-order opportunity for those people that will not be attending New York Comic Con, so look for that on our website. Um, our convention exclusive for this year is Batman, the Bob Kane version. I believe you did a review on it. Yes, that. he is such a cool piece. Yeah, yeah, it came out really nice. And I, I like the fact that it opens the doorway to other, you know, DC characters, not necessarily in the new 52 style, right. but maybe more classic costumes. So right. that's going to be real exciting. Uh, we're showing publicly, for the first time publicly, Damian Wayne. Yeah. So that's going to be a great comp a piece to complement our existing Batman. Just adding more to the Bat family. I love it. That, that's, that was the, the um, with our scheduling, we wanted to focus more on the Bat family, so we're going to be building that out. Um, and also we're showing, uh, this is a factory sample of the Batman from um, Arkham City. And we also are announcing Batman Arkham Knight. So we'll be doing Artifacts Plus for the new game coming out. Oh, very, very cool. Love the video game stuff, and it's so cool to see it done in that style. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a great size for that type of collectible. And then down here, we've got uh, Justice League, which I think you're very familiar yes, with. Yes, absolutely. But we're also going to be adding, well, not to the Justice League necessarily, but Green Arrow. Green Arrow will be coming out soon, uh, this fall, so you, uh, collectors can look forward to that. And, you know, not necessarily just focusing on the Bat family. Hopefully we'll be adding more characters, maybe ju Justice League characters, maybe Teen Titans. I don't know. I'm just saying names out loud. If you want to see something, you know, get in touch with us, you know, and uh, reach out to us through Facebook or our website, and we'd love to hear the feedback. Absolutely. That is really cool because I just love seeing the DC Universe grow yeah. all in the same style and scale so we can just have them all posed together and just get this massive display shelf with all these beautiful uh, Artifacts Plus statues. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great that it's the same scale plus we're using the same artists on the line, so that continuity is just yeah. there across, uh, regardless if it's Batman, Justice League, what have you, it, you know, it really all comes together. Yeah, absolutely, very, very cool. Showing our Avengers Artifacts Plus uh, line, I'm sure you're familiar with this line yep, too. Absolutely. You've You've seen it grow from just, you know, uh, Hulk now to the entire team. We also have a variant Iron Man that we're going to be offering, so not in the more in the classic coloration as opposed to the Marvel Now black and gold. And um, down here we've got some uh, new um, Bashojo announcements, including She-Hulk and She-Hulk and Wasp. Um, fans have been really asking for She-Hulk, so we're happy to give that to them. Jubilee has gotten a huge response online, so we're really excited about that piece. Uh, our convention exclusive for this year was Psylocke in her classic uh, blue outfit. And I'm happy to say that that's already sold out. So Already sold already out. Sold Very out. cool. So uh, it just shows how popular the line and the character is. So we're really pleased with, with how that's uh, been performing with us, performing for us. And uh, we hope to keep that line going strong well into 2015 and 16. Excellent. All right. Okay, so for Guardians of the Galaxy, we have our Rocket Raccoon and Groot statue. And showing for the first time, Deadpool. We've got two versions of Deadpool. We've got the standard red and black coloration. And then we have him in his X-Force outfit. Um, with the Artifacts Plus, we're also able to 
offer different pieces. So um, he can be uh, have his hang ten pose, or he can be holding a sword. Um, and I think we're also hoping to include a sign that you can kind of write in your own phrase, you know, because he also he does that a lot in the comics, you know. So I'm hoping that happens. Um, there's some photos on our Facebook page. Unfortunately, we don't have to sign up here uh, at the show, but hopefully that'll get included in the final release. That is really cool. And we have we have a full slate of Artifacts Plus statues coming out in the near future, uh, you know, 2015 and beyond. So fans and collectors can look forward to those products coming out. Awesome. And then our, for our higher end collector, we have the Marvel Fine Art statue line. Uh, we're showing brown Wolverine fully painted and then brand new reveals Carnage, so a perfect piece to go with our Venom and Spider-Man that we released uh, in the past. And we're also showing Rogue for the first time, and, this, and she's part of our Danger Room sessions. Uh, again, our fine art statue line is a numbered collectible, resin, and um, the response has been great for these two characters, so we're real excited to add more to the line and as it grows. Awesome. Okay, so for our Star Wars line, we're adding the core characters from A New Hope. Um, We've shown these before, um, but these are early factory samples of Han Solo and Chewbacca, Artifacts Plus scale. And now showing for the first time, we've got Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. These are early printouts. So exciting. I think the likenesses are just incredible. If yeah. you can really just uh, take a look at these uh, portraits that our sculptors have been able to accomplish. It's just amazing. And I'm really excited to get all four of them all fully painted and put together because it's gonna create a nice scene when you have all characters uh, in, in one shelf, so to speak. And we're going to keep the uh, Artifacts Plus line going strong. We've got Snow Troopers. We've got, uh, I'm trying to think of uh, some other announcements that I can make. We've got an Obi-Wan Kenobi coming out. We've got a Yoda and a, a R2-D2 with a different paint scheme. So it looks like he just got out of the swamps from Dagobah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming out. We also are going to continue the Artifacts line. So we've got a 1-7 scale Darth Vader uh, scheduled for 2015. And uh, so the, 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 the momentum of Star Wars is going to be very strong, as you can probably guess. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's so much coming up with Star Wars, so I can imagine. I mean, 2015 is going to be a banner year yeah. for the license and for, for uh, manufacturers like us. It's just an exciting time to see what we can do. So... I definitely keep your eyes on that. Well, very, very cool news right there. Yeah. Okay, so we've seen all the cool new stuff coming out, but what is this? This is our Stormtrooper army. We've got 1,000 Stormtroopers, Artifacts Plus scale. We've got Darth Vader and the Royal Guard. And, I mean, this, we, this is the first time we have attempted anything like this, and I think the results are just incredible. It's just so epic. I mean, you walk over to the Kotobukiya booth, and you just see 1,000 stormtroopers lined up. I mean, how do you top a display like this? This is amazing. I don't know, and, 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 and I'm already trying to think in my head, what can we do to, you know, to outdo this? And I'm not sure, but this is really impressive to take a look at, and, and it's just... Uh, it was just a great thing to come together and build it, put it together, and just have it here for everyone to check out. That is really, really incredible. Well, there you go, guys. A look at the Kotobukiya booth here at the 2014 San Diego Comic-Con. Dan, where can everybody go to find out more information on Kotobukiya's products? Well, as always, you can check us out on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Kotobukiya. Or you can visit us uh, at our online retail store. Uh, the landing page is kotous.com. Excellent. Well, Dan, thank you once again for taking the time thank to you. walk us through. Always appreciate it. And there you go, guys. Reporting from the 2014 San Diego Comic-Con, this is Pixel Dan. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic-Con 2014. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Also, don't forget to visit NerdRageToys.com where you can shop for all your toy collecting needs. From vintage to modern, there's something for everyone.